So we're going skiing again today and it is sunny. Look at this, if my camera would adjust. It's really nice and sunny today. It's also freezing cold, but it's gonna be a really awesome day for the GoPro because now you'll actually be able to see the runs and we'll actually be able to see the snow. So we're just gonna get ready now and uh, go to the hill. So hiked today because you can see. So today I'm bringing my good camera skiing. Let's see how this goes. Um, it's a bit warmer actually. It's not supposed to be warmer, but it feels warmer because of the sun. And so I also have nice. a GoPro on my North head. Florida. I know it's like freaking summer in Canada. <laughs> So we're taking a quick water break. Uh, it's very, it's actually not that cold outside, but look at the marks on my face oh. from the, uh, yeah, the, mask. the mask and everything. Look at the Wi-Fi connections here. 10 out of 10, and virus. Not. Georgian Peaks Racing, RCMP, and virus infected Wi-Fi. I say you connect to virus infected Wi-Fi. Me too. We're gonna go back out now. Okay, so we got, I can't speak English. We got back out skiing and I just went down the double black diamond over there. It was really awesome. And uh, we took all our face masks off because it's way too warm. That side was good over there, eh, Charlie? Where yeah. We were? Yeah. Really good, right over here. How's the skiing going, Charlie? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Really good. <laughs> Look at this. Other ski hills don't have this good of a view. Just saying. It's lunch time. Food. We're eating lunch. This was thirteen dollars. That was eighteen. <laughs> it's great. Right in the crotch. Oh, this goes back farther than I thought. What? This goes back farther than I thought. Ah. Okay, 
Okay, so we just dropped all our stuff off in the locker, like my camera bags, and um, I finally am able to use this uh, chest mount now, which is awesome because before it's actually a better view than the head mount because I'm because I grew from like two years ago. Now you can't really see my you can't really see my skis if I use the head mount because it's too far up. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this now, so it should look a lot better than the head mount I was using earlier in the day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shred it up down the green hill. We haven't even been on this hill yet because it's a green hill. We've mostly been on the uh, the harder hills. Look at how nice the hill looks. Beauty. We're going into this building to look at some poles because I haven't had poles for the entire day. Um, in case you're wondering why I haven't had poles over the weekend, it's because I lost them. It's actually someone stole them. So yeah, we're gonna look at poles. Okay, so I managed to get poles. Yes, look at how sick these are. They're like red, matte, and they're from Austria. So I mean, that just makes them even cooler. Um, but I got them on a pretty good deal considering they were really expensive poles there. You know what they say, once you go to Austria, you just can't go back. What? <laughs> but how cool are these poles, guys? I think they're actually pretty, pretty cool. And we're leaving now, so that was a pretty good ski day. Video of you taking a video. Handmade Who's camera like? car <laughs> video thing. Okay, so we're back at the house now, and uh, look at the hill. We were gonna go sledding yesterday, but look at this now. It's literally like a mini Mount Everest. So we should go sledding today. Everest. Yeah, let's I'm just moving. title it Everest. Um, but it also is no, really clear outside. Right now. <laughs> Snap to that, go. <laughs> So up there, if you can see, is the moon, and it's pretty cool. It's a really clear sky, so we're hopefully gonna do a star time lapse later. Correct? Star time lapse. Um, it's so blue and so clear right now, so we're really hoping that it stays clear. That way, we can do that time lapse tonight. So that'll be awesome. And somehow this camera survived today because I just skied with it, hoping that I wouldn't fall in it or anything, and it's all good. So I found what we're gonna use as a pickaxe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay guys, it's happening. Look at all the stuff here. We're gonna film Everest the movie. <laughs> We're gonna film that tiny little hill is gonna be Everest. Stuff's gonna happen. We only have like 20 minutes to film because it's sunset. We chose a really bad time. Yeah, short movie. Let's go. Guys, we're literally just getting random clips and trying to throw them together into a short film. It's great. Charlie's over there filming random clips of this. I'm trying to make the mountain look really big. We got a bunch of GoPros and all this stuff, so we should be good. Filming a short film in about 20 minutes. Let's see how this goes. Behind the scenes. This is behind the scenes. Okay. 
Stop the shot. Stop the shot. So we just got back outside after like an hour of filming that stupid Everest movie. It's great though. Look at my camera. It legitimately has ice on it. I'm gonna let it focus. Do you see this? There is legitimate ice on the lens. That is not good. Like it actually froze. It's not just like water. Okay, so to be fair, we shot that whole movie in about an hour. Um, I checked the clock and it's pretty much one hour we filmed that entire movie. I'm not gonna upload it in this vlog because that'd be too much effort. So it's gonna be another video and everyone else is gonna be very confused. It's just gonna be titled Everest. So if you see a video titled Everest from my channel, look out for that. Uh, it's gonna be pretty funny. There's I, I don't know, like I literally have no clue how the shots turned out because I just took my camera. Like see how my camera's crooked right now? See how it's like sideways? Yeah, that's basically how the shots went. I, I don't know if they were sideways. I don't know if they were out of focus. Okay, so we are setting up to do a star time lapse. You can actually see the stars. It's clear out now. And uh, it's freezing cold though, it's like minus 23 Celsius, so we're gonna make sure our cameras are like warm and clothed. That sounds really weird, but we're actually gonna put clothes on our camera and sweaters and things just to keep it not entirely I frozen. Wrap my camera in underwear. <laughs> wrap it in underwear. Why but um, Charlie's gonna do it on his camera too, so we're gonna have like two different angles. And yeah, I guess we're, we're just gonna go and set up in about a second. You can actually see a lot of stars. This makes me really happy because I haven't had the chance to do this yet this year, so we're gonna see how this looks. So this looks pretty all right. Okay, so this is where we're gonna be doing the time lapse. It's extremely dark. You can see the moon out there, um, but we're just gonna try taking some shots. Uh, my camera's right here, and we're just gonna see what looks nice so that we can frame it before we start a time lapse. Okay guys, I'm just trying to pick a shot now. These are some of the options I have if my camera would focus. Okay, so these are the, some, of the, some of the shots that I was playing around with. Um, some of them are kind of interesting, but I'm still trying to figure out a shot that I like. Um, and then once I do that, I'll start the time lapse. Okay guys, so I have my camera wrapped. This is what the picture looks like. You can't really tell. Um, but I'm basically gonna leave my camera here and see what happens. So let's really hope that no one steals it and that it turns out to be a good time lapse. I really hope so because the moon's out there and it looks really nice. I can't feel my toes. I can't feel my toes. I can't feel. I think I may have minor frostbite. So I just brought the tripod from the time lapse outside and look at it. It literally looks like it's made of ice. And then over here, Charlie's camera. Looks a little interesting. I can't even touch it because it's so cold. Let's see how that turned out. <laughs> 